Our Where You Live segment is branching out a bit tonight. We asked you on our KITV Facebook page to tell us about where you eat. And we had so many recommendations coming in, like this one from April Veracruz, who suggested Jane's Fountain. Hole in the wall, but some awesome grinds. Jukebox, one dollar for ten songs. They used to sell the best maki, kon sushi, and chow fun. So we sent our Moani Kalen Abaro to scope it out. Well, all right, April Vera Cruz. As you suggested, I took the KITV4 ride for a spin, and here we are. We've arrived at your favorite spot, Jane's Fountain in Liliha. Let's check it out. Walking into Jane's almost seemed like stepping into a time machine. Everything from the jukebox to the sliced orange boots screams nostalgia. Just have that, you know, feel of, you know, being here a long time. And I, some people come in and say, oh, I remember when I was young, because there used to be a higher counter here. I just hide from a different spirit. That's waitress slash owner Karen Kahn, who we'll catch up with in just a bit. But check out the menu. Karen hasn't changed it since she bought the eatery from the Nakasone family just four years ago. The family opened for business in the 1940s. And take a look at what we found right smack dab in the middle of Jane's Fountain. It is a jukebox, mint condition. Let's see what kind of jams they got here. Ooh, I got a good one. Bingo. This one's for you, Robert K. Kaula. Many say the fountain is the kind of place that makes Liliha Liliha, and it's still home to local grind classics. When my mom and dad were on each side man, this was the place to come. I would order one time man, and sometimes I do the hamburger because it's, I can carry it with me. Saimin is one of the most popular items here. The dashi, the soup, made fresh daily. And there's something about that hamburger. It's another staple here at Jane's Fountain. On the other side of the restaurant, we caught veteran customers Kathy and Larry chowing down on their hamburger steak plates. That's complete with two scoops of rice, side of mac salad, corn, and suke mono. Homemade hamburger. So it's good. It's hard to find things like this and their own. Especially the Back in the kitchen, we tried asking Karen what goes into making her Ono burger. Some eggs, some salt, some sauce. That's it. That's it? Really? Not so much. This is something everybody knows how to make that one. Many of Karen's customers have been coming here for decades, like Makaleka Aikala Kahele. Her first meal here started when she was in diapers. She says places like this are hard to come by. To me, it's a mom and pop deli. You don't have too much mom and pop. You have all the other restaurants. It's nothing like home based. You know, you can get homemade food. Makaleka introduced her Auntie Gladys to the cheeseburger here, and now Auntie says she's hooked. So then I came back one time without Maka, right? And I was intending to get a cheeseburger to take home with me. I live in Makaha. It's a long way from here. So I get the cheeseburger and I go to the car and I sit in the car and I, go, I take one little bite. The cheeseburger never even make it out of to Ever Beach. It never get that far. <laughs> it was gone. <laughs> The tiny Liliha Eatery is open as early as 7 in the morning and cooks meals until 9 at night on weekdays. So whether it's breakfast for dinner or dinner for breakfast, the choice is yours. And what's a fountain without a root beer soda float? It's topped with not one, but two scoops of vanilla ice cream goodness. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> you know, it was so nice going to a place like Jane's Fountain because they've been open for so long. So many of their customers have been going for years. And I swear, we were in there watching Auntie Gladys eat her burger. And you just uh, see everybody come in, reconnecting, having that conversation. It's like a big reunion. And the burger is oh no. Really and good. the chef is so modest there saying, oh, anybody <laughs> can make it. True. Right. Very Probably modest. not. Love Karen. <laughs> Okay. And thanks to April Vera Cruz for that suggestion. And good karaoke okay there, right? <laughs> yeah, we really enjoyed that. That was my favorite Sukiyaki. part. <laughs> we are looking for your suggestions on local restaurants, and we've got a specific request. What is your favorite spot 
for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. We want something romantic. We're posting the question right now on Facebook. Log on, let us know. Don't forget to like us on, on our stories so you'll get that right into your news feed. If we pick you, you never know, we might ask you to come with us and have some lunch. That'd be fun.